This is Ming Yao from Ozen Engineering. In this video, I'll be talking about how we set up the new Ansys Shared Web Licensing. The benefit of this is that you can now set up uh, you, you can set up Ansys without having to maintain a license server. Uh, shared Web Licensing is only available for Ansys tools and it's only available for leased licenses. So the way you set it up is go to licensing.ansys.com. Here uh, I'm going to go to my company, Ozen Engineering. And you see on the left hand side a selection of different types of licenses that you would have. Standard lease professional licenses, elastic licensing, you can manage activations entitlements and there's a new section here called uh, web assignments. Uh, one of the things that's important for, so the first thing you do is you can go in here and check your entitlements. Once you purchase SS and the order has been processed, you will see all the licenses you have on this page. So we have some temporary licenses for testing purposes here. Uh, the person that has the ANSYS support coordinator uh, and, uh, rights will be able to make adjustments to, uh, to assign these licenses to other people or enable other people in your organization to access these. So if I go to ANSYS licensing portal access, my name is here listed as the ANSYS support coordinator and that is why I have the permission to go and add other users to this. So as an administrator of, this, of these licenses, the first thing I need to do is go to groups here and click on manage groups in Ansys ID. Let's go to a website called id.ansys.com and it says which users would, should have access to, the, to our company account. So I went in and added 14 users from our company each user is identified by an email as well as a role. So there could be an administrator or members. Everyone should be members in general. You can have a few people set up as administrators. And you can also import this using an Excel or CSV file. Uh, there's templates available, download, etc. Uh, once you are a member, you can now go ahead and use, start polling from these entitlements you notice that there is an option to create groups. So if you want to assign specific licenses to specific groups, then you go into the ID portal, start creating additional groups, and then assigning specific numbers of licenses to each group. This gives you more granularity in terms of how you control who has access to which license. In my company, everyone have access to every license, so I don't have to do anything. I just leave the groups empty and have all of these licenses available. And that's all you need to do to, us, to enable your users to use these web-based licenses. Now the second part is we need to uh, set up on, as a user now, maybe I'll close this screen here. As an Ansys user, I would go into the Ansys installation and I would go into the Ansys license settings. Now make sure on my local computer I run this as administrator because it does require some changes to the installation files. And that opens up this menu. This allows me to select which license do I want to use. Do I want to use my standard FlexNet web server? So a host name, for that port, um, something we've done for decades. Or we can use one of these. So sure, I'm going to go ahead and use that. And I'm here going to enable uh, my shared web license. That's all it takes to activate all of the web licenses we have here. The access to the shared web license is dependent on your email address and the password. So the first time I do this, I'll be prompted to input my uh, email and password. But once that's done, you can see I have all of these licenses, licenses available. Uh, there's an option to prioritize different licenses. You can put your FlexNet first, your shared web first, so it's up to you how you want to uh, specify that. And finally, we can check out a simulation. So I'm going to maybe start a, a workbench or a mechanical product. Uh, let's go fire up as workbench. Shared web licensing is first.
Okay, and you can see yes, it's mechanical has loaded. It's using a mechanical enterprise license dash shared web. If we go to our licensing settings panel, you can see that I am using one task of the mechanical shared web. There's six more available. Um, sometimes there may be issues. So if you have uh, if things are not looking correct, you can click on the check in all to make sure you've cleared out any uh, remnants of checked out licenses or clear out any issues. But that should be it. All you need to do is first go to licensing.ss.com in order to uh, and go to assignments, uh, go to groups under assignments to make sure you add the right people to your ASUS account. And then in users uh, at your company can go in and open up license settings, make sure they enable share web, and then they're good to go. So big improvement in the ease of use, uh, not having to maintain the license server and be able to access licenses online efficiently. So hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at ozeninc.com. If you like this video, please uh, like and subscribe. Thanks very much and have a great day. Thank you.